This is actually kind of wild to see as there is a new model called Solar 10.7B, which is something that is outperforming larger models with parameter sizes exceeding 30 billion. Now, it has even outperformed Mistral's new AI model called Mistral MOE. You might be wondering, how is this even possible? Well, this lies with this new research paper, which is a key innovation that highlights the methodology of scaling large language models, and it's known as depth upscaling. It involves architectural modifications and a continued pre-training method, which is specifically integrating Mistral's 7 billion weights into an upscaled layer. Now, depth of scaling is something that is presented to be a critical aspect of Solar's 10.7b model. It's an approach that involves the integration of Mistral's 7 billion parameter model in terms of its weights into an upscaled layer, and it has been continually like processing the pre-training method for the entire model based off the weights. Now, this is a process which has been designed to enhance the model's depth as well as extension and this is something that has been able to capture the intricate patterns and nuances in languages which has been leading to an improved performance in natural language processing tasks. It's something that is quite remarkable and it's something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video as we take a look at this approach, take a look at the new model as well and just basically go further into all of this. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to access our private Discord where you can access subscriptions to AI tools for free, you have consulting, you have investment opportunities, collaboration, and so much more, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're not particularly looking at this new large language model. We're taking a look at the approach that was used to develop it. And this is the new method called depth up scaling. It's something that efficiently and effectively enhances the performance of large language models without the need of complicating the training and inference processes. Now let's actually break this down in simpler terms. Imagine you're building a really smart computer that understands and talks like humans. There's a common size for these smart computers. So let's actually call them large language models with a 7 billion parameter, sort of like brain cells for an actual computer. Now, if we want a smarter computer, you don't want it to be too big because it would take up too much computational power. We would need a clever way to make it smarter without making it much larger. So we would use a trick like depth of scaling, for example. Now, normally when you make a computer smarter, it involves adding more layers. And because of this, we'd need to make sure that we don't add too many layers as it would make it larger, as it would also make it much complicated. This is where we would use the technique called depth of scaling. In depth of scaling, we can take a well-performing base computer with, for example, 32 layers and use a method that allows us to add more layers, which makes it smarter by copying it in this case. Now, if you make it too complicated for a computer to learn, it is going to be just way more larger in terms of using more resources. And this is something that makes it less efficient. So other methods we've seen can make things complicated by changing how a computer learns. But whereas depth of scaling is something that takes the layers from the end as well as from the beginning and then puts it together in a more efficient and effective way. We have a smarter computer with 48 layers, for example, and it's something that can still work in the same way as a regular sized one. So in a nutshell, you can say that depth of scaling is giving a smart computer a little boost without actually making it too hard for the computer to understand things because of how it layers and develops such base models. Now, if you take a look at this figure, you can get a better idea of this method for enhancing the performance of any sort of large language model. For example, if you're using a 32 layer llama to architecture as the base model, you can see that if you combine it with Mixtral by copying it, for example, copying the weights, you can use uh, depth of scaling, which involves the copying method of the base model and slicing it up 
into eight layers from the original model and the first eight layers from the duplicate model. This is a result we can see that if you copy it from the beginning and from the out, we can combine it together into a 24 layer model, which can then be concentrated to create a depth up scale model with 48 layers and a 10.7 billion parameter model size. This is a process that optimizes the model's performance by maintaining the process that continuously works in operation in the layers as well as leveraging the pre-trained weights so that it can address potential challenges that are associated with straightforward increases in layer count. This is something that they demonstrated with this research paper as well as this new model which is called Solar dot, or sorry, Solar 10.7b. Now let's actually take a look at this second table which is showcasing the evaluation results for this new Solar 10.7b model which has been using this new depth of scaling method. Now we can see that it is being compared alongside with many of these other open source models and you can see that it does quite a great job in comparison to Mistral. You have many other model sizes that go all the way up to 180 billion in terms of its model size and we can see that it's able to do quite well in terms of its performance and its evaluation in comparison to all these other models on various different benchmarks. Now, if you guys would like to run this model locally, there is a way for you to actually do so with LM Studio. This is an application that can help you run any sort of open source large language model locally. Now, if you guys do not have this, I'll leave this link in the description below, which showcases and demonstrates how you can install it onto your desktop. So once you have LM Studio ready, you can simply have it opened up, go onto the model card page, I'll leave this link in the description below. It's a GGUF uh, model card for Solar 10.7b. Now you simply just copy this model card, go on to LM Studio on the home page, paste it over here and click enter. Once you have clicked enter, you might not see the model, so you might need to click on compati compatibility guess, sorry. Once you have clicked that, you can then install the model that you want. You can see that you can even install the uncensored model for it. So this is something that you can do fairly easily. You can install it, have it loaded up on your chat tab by selecting the model that you want to load. And then you can start chatting with it within LM Studio. Now that is as easy as it can get. Now at this current moment, there isn't any sort of framework where you can use depth of scaling to basically configure or combine certain large language models to create new ones. So this is something that is just a research paper that specifies the method or the approach that they use to develop it. Once there is something that is like a framework that you can use to do that, I'll definitely make a video on it and showcase it on my Discord as well as on Twitter. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I'll leave all the links in the description below. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you want to access our private Discord. Follow us on Twitter to stay up to date with the latest AI trends. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification bell, like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.